Hello, this is a part of wireless attacks videos on securitytube.net. This particular video is on accidental association attack. In last video, I was talking about rogue APs. Now, rogue APs were the access points which are connected to your enterprise subnet by some external party, by some third party which is controlling that access point, and the attacker's clients are getting associated with this rogue access point so that they can launch attacks on your enterprise subnet. Now what exactly is happening in accidental associations? Your own employees when they switch on their laptop and generally some uh, preferred networks are already configured in your enterprises, uh, enterprise employees laptop. Now if that laptop is not able to find any access points in preferred network list then it is possible that it might go ahead and connect to some external access point unknowingly. It is not the malicious intent of your employee but just unknowingly it gets associated to some external access point which is probably open and if this is happening this is probably termed as the accidental associations. It is even also possible that when employee starts his machine there is some PNL or preferred network list conf configured in his laptop. Now there is some access point with the same SSID lying around here by. Uh, this is called as honeypot attack. I will be creating a separate video on honeypot attack. But if there is some honeypot access point and employee is able to get the wireless coverage of that honeypot access point your computer or his computer might go ahead and get associated with that honeypot access point. Now what exactly is happening in this figure? This particular employee has switched on his laptop and accidentally this laptop or this station is getting associated with some neighboring access point. Now this neighboring access point can be maliciously plant, plant, planted access point or it can be just a genuine access point of, of your neighboring company, neighboring office and it is just that your station is by accident getting associated with some neighbor's access point. But at any cost or in any case this particular situation cannot be neglected because this connection can be open connection, non-encrypted connection. So anyone who is seeing this packet can easily decipher the contents of this packet and can easily breaks, break into your network as well. Another thing is if this association or if this access point is a malicious access point that malicious user or malicious attacker gets control of your client's machine and through this control he can probably launch attack on your client's machine and thereby a secondary attack on your network. It is very much possible that this laptop is actually connected on wired side to your enterprise subnet and if something like bridging is enabled between wired and wireless configurations or any such attack are easily exploited by the attacker or by the malicious user. Now in presence of these accidental associations, company's private data is being compromised between your enterprise user and some external access points. And if, if that association was an intentional attack, then he can easily launch more powerful man in the middle or metasploit attacks on your subnet as well. And that's even more scary. So you need to contain these accidental associations. These are the possible prevention mechanisms for unknowing or accidental associations. First mechanism you may find it little dumb but just switch off your wireless client whenever it is not in use. Thereby you are reducing the probability of any data th theft for unknowing associations because your wireless client is just switch switched off. So it is not possible for a wireless client to unknowingly get associated with some external access points. The second good suggestion is to use cryptographically strong data encryption algorithms like CCMP or WPATK at least so that 
even if the association takes place the encryption will be or all the traffic will always go in encrypted form so if there is a pnl or a preferred network list for any ssid the externally spoofed access points ssid which is also called as honeypot ssid the association will be successful but any data transfer client will always use the encryption and since ap cannot decrypt that packets there is no much use another very important suggestion is to um, to deploy a good firewall settings and to configure every wireless client properly with proper administration another suggestion for every user is to clean their pnl or clean their preferred network list regularly now whenever as uh, whenever a client associates with any access points his ssid is getting added in the clients or stations pnl and once this ssid gets added in client or stations pnl every time this station comes up it will try to find that particular ssid surroundings based on this behavior there is one more attack called cafe latte attack i'll be creating a separate video on cafe latte attack on securitytube.net but for time being just remember to clean your pnl regularly that's it for this video do watch other wireless attacks videos on securitytube.net thank you